a quick get ready with me video. I wanted to film this before I went out and enjoyed the beautiful day. It's so sunny, gorgeous, the weather is so nice. Gonna go spend some time with the family, do a little bit of vlogging. Make sure you go and check out my blog at Janice Makeup TV. Also, I'll be showing you guys my outfit, my accessories, um, my hairstyle as well, so make sure you stick around till the end. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and also like the video if you want to see more Get Ready With Me videos, and let's go ahead and get this tutorial started. I will start off by applying my foundation. I'm using Urban Decay's Naked Skin. I will apply this all over my face and blend it down to my neck as well. I'm using my Tarte Cosmetics brush to blend this out. It is available on QVC. It is limited edition, so if you're interested, I'll provide links down below. For my concealer, I will be using Lancome's Waterproof Corrector, and I'll apply this under my eyes, along with any other imperfections that I have. I have been breaking out a little bit. My allergies have been going crazy. So I really like this um, concealer because it is hot out, and it is waterproof, so that really helps with the weather. I probably won't use it for the winter because I don't want it to dry out my skin. For my contouring, I will be using MAC Sculpting Cream and Coffee Walnut and applying this with my finger in the areas that I want to contour. I will be making an updated contouring video, so be sure to subscribe so you can get the notification when it's out. I will also be contouring my nose using my finger since it is cream, it is a little bit easier for me. I will be showing you in the more detailed video using a brush and fingers. And for the bigger areas, I am using my Tarte Cosmetics brush to blend this out. For this tutorial, I am using the Urban Decay Shattered Face Case, so I will be using the blush along with it. And I will be applying this with the fluffy brush onto my cheeks and also focusing right on the apples of my cheeks as well, just making it appear natural. I'm going to be taking my MAC Translucent Powder as part of my contouring process. I do this right after I apply my blush and I would just be applying it to these areas right here. Again, there will be a more detailed video explained in every single step and the very near future I promise I will get that out as soon as possible. Now it's time for eyebrows. I do have a more detailed tutorial if you want to go by and check that out. I will link it down below in the more info box. It's very important for me to do my eyebrows every day. I know it may be a little scary to shade them in, but do just a little to help frame your face. When you don't have your eyebrows done, it's like having a picture without a frame. So give it a try, you might just love it. I will start off by applying my Urban Decay Primer Potion all over the lid and just a little bit under the eye. We will be using the Urban Decay Shattered Face Case for our entire makeup tutorial, so it's very convenient, it's great for on the go. The case comes with a black 24-7 Urban Decay eyeliner and I will be placing this all along my upper lash line. I will also apply this on my lower lash line just about halfway. I will soften this out by blending it out with a MAC 219 brush and smudging it out. Then I will get as close to my lash line as possible and just intensify the root. Taking a MAC 217 brush in this color right in the center of our palette, I will be applying this all along my lid and really focusing on the outer corner as well as the inner part of the eyes as well and then working my way up. I'm not applying too much uh, as I'm heading upward past the crease. You want to just add a little more just right on the lid and then blend it out so that there's no harsh lines and I love following the shape of my eyebrow. I'm going to go ahead and bring this right under the eye as well, using the same brush is fine, and just blend it out to create a smoky effect. Using the lightest color in the palette, it is not shimmery, it's a matte tone. I will be applying this using an eyeshadow brush as my highlight, and this will also help with the blending process, so just blend any harsh lines that you may have. Now taking the shimmery purple color and an angled brush, I think this is a MAC 272, I will apply this right on my crease area and really intensify it. Now I am winging it slightly on the outer corner and then blending out, being very light handed as I'm going inward with it. You don't want to make this too intense as you bring it in on the crease. Just really focus on the outer corners and the inner one third as well. Go ahead and blend it out using a MAC 217 brush. 
To brighten out my eyes, I will be using MAC Fascinating and apply this right on my waterline. This will help your eyes look a lot brighter, more awake, and bigger. And I will also continue applying another layer of my 24-7 eyeliner. If you want a more natural look, I would skip this step. Now taking a matte black eyeshadow and using a 219, I will place this on the upper and lower lash line just about halfway. Again, if you want a more natural look, then I would definitely skip this step, but I would like them a little bit more dramatic, more intense, so this will definitely help with that. Now it's time for lashes, but before I do that, I'm going to dust off all of this powder that I have on my face. This really helped out with the contouring process, but also with the eyeshadow process because if I got any fallout, I just dust it right off. As my highlight, I will be applying this beautiful shimmery highlight from Marabella using a fan brush. It will really create a beautiful radiance to your skin. It will make it appear glowy and beautiful. Today I'm going for bold lips, so I'm going to start off by applying a maroon lip liner and then applying MAC Matte Lipstick in Chalkful and just touching it up. I really love the matte lips. For this hairstyle, I will curl the ends of my hair. Nothing perfect. Since I don't have a lot of volume on my hair, I like teasing the sides and the back as well to create more volume. So now make sure you're free from knots and tangles and go ahead and do a side ponytail. It doesn't have to be perfect and tie it with an elastic. Then I will part my pony in two, just like this, and I will be taking some sections from the outer part and bringing it over to the opposite side, just like this. You take a small section from the outer corner and bring it over to the other side and continue the same process. Now, my hair is very long, so I won't be filming the entire process. I'll just continue doing the same steps until I get all the way down, and my hair is super long, so it's going to take a while. So just be patient with this, because fishtail, uh, especially if you have very long hair, is a little time-consuming and does require some patience. So again, just continue on taking sections from the outer part, bringing it out to the opposite section, and if you have layers like me, it may take a little bit longer. As you can see, it's really coming together, so just take your time because we're going to be loosening this up so it doesn't have to be perfect. When you are finished, go ahead and tie it with an elastic. It looks gorgeous. Now carefully cut the elastic and go ahead and loosen up your braid. Since I have a lot of layers, I'm going to go ahead and curl any of the loose hairs that I have around my face. Continue this on the other side as well. Now I will add some hairspray and also some bobby pins if needed. This concludes our hair portion of the tutorial. I hope that you guys give this a try. If you do, send me some pics on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I would love to see what you guys come up with. I absolutely love this hairstyle and I hope you guys do too. So for my top, I am wearing a Forever 21 top with some gold circles on it. I really, really like this style. They have a lot of stuff with rhinestones and studs on it, so I figured I'd pick up a couple for fall and winter. I'm also wearing this gold necklace that was only about $4. My husband picked out these earrings. They have a little bit of spikiness to them, and that is pretty much it. I just paired them with some jeans. And that is pretty much it, you guys. I'm going to be wearing some flats. They're leopard just to kind of add a little of action to it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Get Ready With Me videos, please click like. And I'll see you guys really soon with more tutorials. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch my tutorial. If you have the time and want to get to know me better, go by and check out my family vlogs at Janice Makeup TV and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Janice Makeup.